How are you feeling? Great. Um, we have a fantastic two days um, to spend with you, to talk to you about um, digital transformation, cyber security, and the great god AI. I'll uh, tell you more about myself after we get along with the formalities uh, and, the, uh, and the Prime Minister, His Excellency. So I'm going to hand over to the Chairman of the Board, please, Ertan, and he'll tell you all about it. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. It's much more stressful than in TV to tell you the truth. If you also ask me to prepare something, and every time I prepare this thing, it never works out. But if something messes up, I will just use it. Um, it's a nice feeling. Eleven years ago, I was invited by, by Vyolta to, to make a presentation in Kosai City. I was uh, younger. I just started my entrepreneur's uh, career being focused on academics. And uh, I still remember the day because I was shaking my, my, until I came here. And my, uh, my day was very stressful and I couldn't sleep a lot. And uh, I remember when I walked in the stage and I grabbed the microphone my hands were shaking a lot, approximately like today. And while I walked in the stage, I remember I glanced at the first row of the people and I saw some of the best entrepreneurs of the country at that time and the best engineers and the top businessmen of the country. And I was thinking to myself, I was, I deserve to be in that front row. Maybe not at that time, but deep down inside, I knew that I deserved to be in the front row. And working hard, years have gone by, and I am here, opening the Kosai City. And Kosai City is not about me, and this is not about me, but I'm telling you this story because Kosai City is about people like me. People that I see here, uh, there at the back of the stage, and there with like messy hair and shiny bright eyes and these people are the people who will be here after me because Kosai City will be here to tell us about their ideas and their innovations and their success that's what Kosai City is about for the people in the back uh, as we embark on this journey together uh, I just want to remind us that Technology is not just a tool, but it's an opportunity. And as pioneers and leaders in the tech industry, we have to use this opportunity and we are obliged that our innovations are ethical, they are inclusive, and they make a positive impact on society. I still didn't use the paper, Vilsa, so I'm doing fine. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. And let's enjoy the next two days together. Thank you so much. How are you feeling, are you feeling now? Uh, easier. Happy about um, the football result last night? I'm crazy about the football result last night. So, uh, yeah, best so, day of my life. Good. It's best morning of my life. Yes. Thank you very much. See you in... One more round of applause, please. See you in Germany. Yes. Uh, an amazing beginning. Uh, we have a very busy man now, His Excellency the Prime Minister uh, of Kosovo. Please, um, please welcome Orban Kurti. Duherka Trizaram Bram, Sodnu Kon Deshe, Po Duta Vajdoi Mnesoi, Fusha Tiera, Kukomo Mirsa Mekat. Njore ka shtransishme për Kosovën dhe rajonin për transformimin digital të organizuar nga Kosaj City të cilët i falenderoj nga Zemra. Më vjen keqë që jam i veshu një shikë më shumë se që duhet me protokoll për shkak se prej këtë duhet të takoj dy senator e besoni që po mund të lëtoj prej një qytetin e një qytet tjetër 
me valigje po jo dhe përbrenda qëtetit. Mandej, bëte pa mundur të funksionosh normalisht. Tash, unë do të vazhdoj fjallën ti me në vijem në anglisht për shka këtë numrit të malë të mësafirve anglisht folës të cilët janë këtu mesnësh. Dear Minister Izvanoli, Dear Management of Stick, Chairman Sadiku and Director Chavoli, Dear Ambassadors, Dear Mayor Rama, Dear guests and members of the ICT community, I am deeply honored to stand before you today at the 12th edition of COS ICT, an event that has grown to become the most prominent tech festival in our region. COS ICT is a celebration of innovation and the limitless potential of technology and a testament to the huge importance that the information and communication technology sector has in our country. The theme for this year's festival, Discover New Limits, perfectly encapsulates the spirit of exploration, innovation and progress that defines the world of ICT. This week, we have witnessed some remarkable milestones in our journey towards digitalization. Just yesterday, the government approved the new e-government strategy 2023-2027 an ambitious initiative that aims to substantially transform our public services. This strategy introduces some key reforms, including a strategic approach to cloud, the development of a national enterprise architecture and interoperability framework, the establish establishment of a data governance body implementing a service delivery model based on life events of citizens and creating integrated service delivery centers. Notably, even before the strategy's official approval, we have started the piloting of proactive services related to the life event of a child's birth. Furthermore, the government also approved the new cybersecurity strategy 2023-2027 on the very same day, therefore yesterday. This decision was no mere coincidence. It underscores our belief that e-government and cybersecurity are intricately connected. The cybersecurity strategy comprehensively addresses all aspects of cybersecurity from advancing legislation and institutional capacities to promoting a culture of cybersecurity awareness in Kosovo supporting private sector development and fostering public-private partnership to building a sustainable workforce, enhancing our capabilities in cyber investigation and defense and fostering national and international cooperation. Yesterday, again yesterday, also program with the uh, World Bank titled Strengthening Digital Governance for Service Delivery marked a significant milestone with the approval of our government's this five-year program. This program includes an 18.5 million euro loan that will finance over 50% of the activities in a three-year auction plan of our new e-government strategy. This week, we celebrated the commencement of the USAID five-year program Kosovo e-governance activity with a budget of $10.9 million. This program will be another vital cornerstone of support for the implementation of our e-government strategy. Once more, yesterday, the government approved the list of the ICT and cybersecurity professionals, which will be categorized as experts responsible for the government systems of strategic importance. These experts are treated as a distinct category of civil servants based on the new law on public sector salaries adopted in February. This measure is pivotal in attracting and retaining qualified ICT and cybersecurity professionals in government, and it is an essential enabler for the implementation of our digitalization initiatives. And the inauguration of the Digital Technology Park in Bernica, yesterday, again yesterday, is the culmination of developments in this digitally intensive week in Kosovo. With an investment of 1.2 million euros, 
the government has transformed a 4,000 square meters government-owned building into a state-of-the-art technology park. This valuable asset has been handed over to STIC, which will continue managing the park for the next five years. The park will serve as a vital platform in our innovation ecosystem, further supporting the growth and development of the ICT industry in Kosovo. These developments underscore the high priority we place on digitalization. By the end of 2025, the investments in e-government, e-health, digitalization in education, and cybersecurity in Kosovo will exceed 80 million euros. Based on the strategic documents we have completed by 2027, this figure is expected to reach 130 million euros. These investments are not just monetary. They represent our unwavering commitment to empowering our citizens and businesses, fostering innovation and ensuring that Kosovo leapfrogs in the realm of digital transformation. As we gather at the COS ICT 2023, under the uh, slogan, Discover New Limits, I encourage all of you, the bright minds of our ICT community, to embrace the spirit of exploration, innovation, and the limitless potential that technology offers. Together, we can redefine boundaries, address challenges, and make our digital aspirations a reality. The day before yesterday, I came back from Liverpool and we had such a great set of achievements yesterday, but the analogy ends here, because don't mind the lyrics of the Beatles song, today is even more beautiful and successful than yesterday. Thank you very much and I wish you the most successful COS ICT 2023. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. Love me do, love me do, as uh, Beatles also said. Um, the, His Excellency has a, a country to run, so I believe that he'll be running off very quickly. Uh, but one of his ministers is now going to speak. Um, it's the Economy Minister, I have to get this name right, Artane Rizzonovelli, if that's right. Yes? No? Inshallah. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Apart from the name, uh, can we get the gender right, please? <laughs> um, dear uh, Prime Minister Kurti, dear Mayor Rama, ambassadors, entrepreneurs, academics, uh, businesses, guests, uh, Ermal, Violsa, and everyone at stick. It's a great feeling to stand here in front of a powerhouse of innovation, creativity, and what I, as a Minister of Economy, like best, a powerhouse of digital economy. I see so many of the familiar faces as I did yesterday when we inaugurated the new home of the ICT sector in Kosovo, the tech park in Bernitz, a space for startups and companies conducive to productivity, creativity, innovation, cooperation, and synergy. Uh, as an economist, what more can I ask for? And this is such a great way to end the week and start such an inspiring conference. Looking at the list of uh, panels and speakers at COS ICT 2023, there's a little I would rather do than cancel my agenda for the rest of today and tomorrow and join you. However, unfortunately, my job uh, doesn't allow this luxury. Uh, but the topics that um, headlining this conference uh, are pivotal to the future of, of the technological landscape. From understanding the practical implications of generative AI to unmasking the cyber threats that shadow our online presence, we are delving into matters that will govern the digital economy and ensure cybersecurity. These topics aren't just niche subjects, they are imperatives for a resilient, advanced and inclusive digital nation. The importance of these topics isn't solely defined by their content, but also by those who share it. I'm incredibly happy to see so many inspiring speakers from leading tech companies as part of COS ICT. Your presence here is more than just a testament to this conference's significance. It's an affirmation of Kosovo's ICT sector emerging role in a wider ICT landscape. 
The insights, experiences, and expertise they bring with them serve as an unparalleled source of knowledge and motivation, especially from young, for young professionals. To our youth in the ICT sector, this is a golden opportunity to interact with, learn from, and be inspired by the best in the nation. We have a thriving ICT sector, as you all know by now, which stands as a testament to what talent and hard work can achieve. The success that the people in this room have shown, companies, NGOs, academia, and experts, has put our country on a level playing field, field and made it competitive not only with the countries in the region, but also in Europe and beyond. Your professional work has showcased new and innovative drives to drive our, in a, uh, to, our, uh, to drive our economy forward. And um, in this digital age, economic development is intricately linked to technological advancement, and we as a government are therefore committed to investing in supporting and amplifying the role of the ICT sector in Kosovo's progress. Therefore, we are committed to continue to work, as we have done uh, so far, on key areas such as workforce development, um, in infrastructure development, where we have already a great track record, having reached 100% uh, coverage of Kosovo with broadband, putting us on top of the um, European countries, not only in the region. And finally, on ensuring cybersecurity, which needs to go hand in hand with the development of the sector and the digitalization of the economy. Um, however, let's not forget uh, ICT uh, infrastructure development is not an end to itself. Creating the infrastructure and granting access to technology and digital skills for each citizen, each si child, and each business are crucial for an equal, equitable, and inclusive society, something that we as a government work for every day. It's also crucial for ensuring competitiveness of our thriving economy. While we celebrate our achievements, we are aware of the road, of the road ahead of us and the work ahead of us. As we delve into the panels today, uh, let's remember, because ICT is not just a conference, it's a celebration of Kosovo's vision for a brighter, technologically robust future. And while you are learning and sharing experiences, I hope that you also get to enjoy your, yourselves, enjoy Kosovo, make new friends and new business connections, and wish you the most successful 2023 COS ICT conference. Thank you. Thank you, Artani. Um, um, apologies for the gender. I was concentrating on the name, you know, Riz Novelli. Oh, yes, woman, man. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we have, before we crack on with the ceremonies, we're now going to have the mayor of Pristina, who's going to come on stage. And I, I can say this name properly, Purparim Rama. Please come to the stage. You got the gender right? It, it's a man. <laughs> Sorry, just like uh, Ermal, you know, I need some water before I can talk because actually it's quite emotional to see Ermal here, who I've known since he was 16. And then today he is, is chairing, you know, chairing the event. So congratulations, dear Ermal. You know, his glazy eyes from 16-year-old to now an international entrepreneur, it's a fantastic achievement. I'm going to try and open this up. So... And it's um, fabulous to have here Minister Rizvanoli. Obviously, we had Prime Minister Kurti. Uh, Viosa, thank you for a uh, fantastic organization of, of this event, organizing this event. Dear ambassadors, especially Luxembourg Ambassador, who we have a lot of uh, chats about digital technology and about the future of the city and the country. And I'm standing here in front of you, all the amazing youngsters here, amazing entrepreneurs, you know, different companies, local and international. And I'm very proud, very proud to represent Pristina, to represent a city that is now, I can say, that it's thriving in the sort of technological advancement. And as such, I feel responsible that we, um, you know, we need to also ensure that the platform helps you, that the platform hel helps our youngsters from very young age. So what are we doing? You know, we're actually um, investing quite a lot in building new schools in order to have uh, the existing schools as well provide opportunities for uh, the young entrepreneurs, you know, starting from 
six years old and, and forward to start learning about coding, about robotics, about uh, information technology, about artificial intelligence, and so on and so forth. Because when we take, um, when we look at our technology sector, we have more than 500 companies with more than 5,000 engineers that despite all the difficulties and perhaps very little or no help from institutions, from governmental institutions, this technology sector or this sector is thriving and it's connected to the world. So from Pristina, from Kosovo to the world. And we understand, at least that the, um, obviously, uh, at, uh, you know, having the Prime Minister and the Minister here and me as a Mayor is a testament that we do understand the importance of the sector. And therefore, we are here to help the sector grow. Uh, I'm also very proud that um, this year we had the second edition of Girls in Tech. I want to thank the Deputy Mayor for being super involved in that. Uh, and uh, help gender balance. Because we need, you know, we have uh, smart, intelligent, uh, entrepreneurial girls in, in tech sector. So I want to give a great round of applause to our girls here in tech sector. We also, as a municipality, we uh, are very committed to use every opportunity to also provide, um, you know, financial support for the top students. And one of the uh, things that we've done this year, we kind of uh, partnered with RIT, Rochester Institute of Technology. We have uh, uh, a program with them. So we're sponsoring five, um, um, you know, sponsorship for five students, five top students uh, from TIC. Uh, and and uh, this will be in an ongoing for like next 20, 30 years. But we also welcome any other potential, any other opportunities with uh, industry sector, with your entrepreneurs, you know, on how we can collaborate and how we can work together to facilitate the sector and to ensure that it moves forward. What we're doing as well, apart from, again, the educational aspect, we're also creating uh, other spaces, like in Youth Palace, we now have a project called The Ring, uh, which we will provide as uh, an environment for, um, you know, pop-up uh, entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs with great ideas that uh, can have spaces there, co-working spaces. And then obviously we're delighted that together with the ministry we provided the land for the, um, uh, uh, now where STIC will be, the, the technology hub over there. And uh, we have, um, uh, well, in, in line now, uh, transforming the city into a smart city. So we're, we're just preparing a tender now to actually install uh, the infrastructure for the whole capital city to be able to receive or to work with, with sensors and with large data that will help us uh, better plan our city and, of course, help us better engage with uh, various companies, with various entrepreneurs about uh, uh, new ideas, about actually uh, utilizing this wave of um, new industry, if I may call it that, the new sort of possibility that artificial intelligence provides uh, for the world. We have a chance to ride this wave. We have a chance to, uh, together, you know, ensure that our youth, despite our difficulties that we have at the moment, you know, a country after the war, as it's seen, uh, a city with great difficulties, by utilizing the technology, by utilizing this uh, wave of now artificial intelligence, we can excel and we can be leaders uh, in the world. So it doesn't matter how small we are, it matters how great we think and how uh, confident, responsible, entrepreneurial we are about the new possibilities that we have. And again, seeing you all, you all here and, and knowing uh, a lot of you, I have great confidence that we can indeed lead the wave of uh, this new industrial revolution of artificial intelligence. And Pristina he is here to support you all. So thank you and uh, great uh, two days. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately I can't be here with you, but I'm, I'm with you in heart and, and mind and also all the platform that uh, Municipality of Pristina brings to you. Thank you all. Enjoy it.